real niggas is a dying breed, but I'm still maintaining. Made it out the hood, I still pop out on some gang shit. My day one niggas, them the niggas. Now welcome back to another hair tutorial. I'm gonna get straight into it. In the box, you're gonna have one right here, two. And afterwards, you're gonna have number three. This is a small little thing. Now, there's gonna have number four. To start off, you're gonna need some petroleum jelly. And just outline the stuff or outline the parts where you don't want, you know, you the dye to die, you know, around your ears or where it may get in the back of your hairline and the front of your hairline. Start it off, you're gonna need number two. Open it up. It doesn't smell too good. But open it up, and after this, you're gonna pour in number one into number two. Uh, you may need scissors to cut um, the little plastic piece of the um, serum, which is number three. Once you do that, you're going to pour it right into the bottle. So it's going to go in one, two, and then three. So basically, two, one, then three. All right, once you pour all that into there, you're going to close it and then shake it up. You want to shake this up about a good you know five minutes after you want to make sure everything's getting mixed together and after this it should be like a burgundy color also look at the instructions and make sure you're following them carefully and doing this right Once you work into a good lather, you want to uh, get it deep into your roots. Make sure you use the whole entire bottle, covering all the way around your head. You know, getting the close edges as close as you can without going too far and let it drip all over the place. But once you do that, you want to find you a plastic bag or a shower cap, I prefer. And after this, you want to let this sit in your hair for about 30 to 25 minutes. Um, I would say no more than 20. Uh, I would say no more than 40 minutes. Um, and it, it depends on uh, the desire you want. Uh, the deeper the color you want, the more you're gonna let it sit, um, or the more you're gonna use, especially for longer hair. Um, but the lighter you want, the less color you're gonna use, or the less time you're gonna let it sit in your hair. So um, you wanna let it uh, sit in your hair. Once you do that, you're gonna go wash it out. Once you wash it out, you want to wash it out until um, there's no more color running, just straight water running. And after this, you want to uh, apply step four, which is the conditioner. Make sure you just rub it all through your hair, and you want to let this sit for two or five minutes, and here's the results. After um, I condition, um, I did a washing style with a lot of oil. After this, I laid my hair back down. After this, then I had went and got a haircut, y'all. 
So this is the results and what it looks like. So this is four weeks in the past when I first started using my um, homemade pomade. In the next video, I'm gonna show y'all what it's pomade do and um, how it works. And I've been using it and it's pretty good. Helped my hair grow a lot, uh, especially in my crown area. But y'all stay tuned. And after this, I'm gonna get back with y'all. in the mix cause this shit is very dangerous guess you want some clout we gonna really make you famous skirt 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 i ate watch me lane switch